Hi, I'm Dr. Gabby Cora, and I'm at the National Publicity Summit here with Reverend Julie Renette. Julie Renette, welcome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Tell us about your story. You have this fascinating history that you've been able to put together and help so many other people. Go for it. Thank you so much. Well, when I was a little girl, I was exposed to the atomic bomb, literally, in the Nevada desert when they were testing the bomb. And I survived. I had uh, 10 years of radiation treatment, 17 surgeries. Wow. Um, I went through a very, very long ordeal, actually two and a half years of my life in a hospital bed. And uh, How old were you? I was 10 when I was exposed. The surgery started when I was 24. And what kinds of surgeries did you have then? I had uh, surgeries for cancer. So the first place that radiation affects is your thyroid. So I had my thyroid removed. And then I had tumors all over. And uh, my last surgery, uh, they removed my female parts. And all of that uh, was from the radiation exposure. So tons of exposure at a very young age that affected you in general. And what happened next? Well, I, um, I, I have to say I had five near-death experiences, one I actually clinically died. And I was living in a lot of pain and discomfort and a lot of illness. And I really felt like God promised me a better life than that. I wanted to live in my Garden of Eden. So I realized that back when I was 24, I negotiated to stay. But I forgot to put in the request that I wanted to live in the Garden of Eden. I wanted to live in joy and happiness and a body that felt good. So I went to my garden six years ago, and I sat and I prayed and I meditated, just like Buddha. He went out for enlightenment. I went out for a cure. <laughs> and, um, and over a period of two weeks, I started really receiving images in my mind about how my cells looked and how my body looked. And I began to use that information to heal myself. And um, after two weeks, I had no pain in my body. My body was well, my heart condition had cured, my lung condition had cured, I was able to walk easily. And from there, I have gone on to help lots and lots and lots of people and have now developed a beautiful program with those tools. So there was a this before and after. The before was filled with pain right. and despair and, um, and, and very dark times too. What led you to have that meditation, that introspection? within yourself, in your garden. What were the, what happened those days before you decided that that was what you needed to do to heal yourself? You know, thank you for asking me that because I don't think anyone ever has. Um, I had been in so much pain for so long that I would pass out and my friends would pick me up and carry me to the emergency room. Everybody knew me in the emergency room because I would pass out from severe pain. And I had just recently gone through and created a will and I had to talk to my children about it, and I said, look, if it comes down to, you know, some something, you're going to pull the plug. You're not going to leave me here because I'm in too much pain. So you were ready to die. I just, I was in too much pain to live anymore. And I, I said, you know, I, I mean, I hope I get better to my kids, but I can't live longer in this kind of pain. So, and so, and then I started thinking, but God promised me something better. I started thinking like, hey, wait a minute, Buddha went out, and he just like demanded that God enlighten him, and after 40 days, he was enlightened. I figured, I got the same clout. <laughs> and, and it was like being reborn in a way. It was, it really was. So, so it's the before and the after. Tell us more about the after. I, I can't tell you about being in, I can, it's severe pain. So some of the people who are listening will probably know about that, that pain every day, every day, unrelenting, never a break there's never a break and um, if you're on the medications you don't have your mind and that was really important for me so um, to be just in either severe pain or drugged to oblivion and then uh, you know having those days in the garden which were amazing it's amazing to make a commitment to yourself to unplug from everything and just hook up with God you know it's just really really remarkable and then to emerge all sparkly and light and really like uh, I could breathe easily. My heart was at a regular normal pace. My body was relaxed. There, there wasn't pain. Like there was pain every step I took every minute of every day. There was pain in my legs. There was no pain in my legs anymore. It was gone. It was, uh, it was like, uh, have, like being a baby and having a new body. 
was a miracle. And and what extended really from that was your sharing that light with the rest of the world too. Absolutely. Thank you for saying that. And that's true. I, I mean, I I experimented on myself. God gave me these gifts, and then I took all of the things that I learned from that time, and I brought it out into the world. So there's so much more that you're still giving out. Tell us, how can people reach you? My website is www.beautifulfromtheinsideout.com and uh, we'd love to hear from anyone who's interested in cellular regeneration. We do it all different ways. So if you want to get younger, we do that. If you want to get healthy, we do that. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. Oh, it's really been a pleasure. <laughs> thank you. Thank you.